morning, hi guys. It is a cold winter day in mid-October here in the end times. Bugs in a Jar Farm where I am thinking of heading south. Three weeks from today, I will be pulling out in uh, what for two more days will be named the Maggie May Trailer. I'm trying to rechristen the name of the Maggie May Trailer here, but it is. To, I'm heading out of here on Monday, November 8th, 2021, and uh, that means it's three weeks from today, which is Monday, October 8th, uh, I'm sorry, October 18th. 2021 so of course what today is is the I guess officially pretty much the 11th hour and 59th minute of me waiting around for uh, Dulcinea to shit or get off the pot and uh, <laughs> I'm not expecting uh, Dul Dulcinea to shit between uh, the next 24 hours. So uh, anyway, I am expecting her to sit on the pot uh, from here to eternity. And uh, so I am starting to move ahead with my life. Uh, and as part of the final heave-ho of freeing myself from the chains of Dulcinea. Now guys, as I've mentioned, uh, it was the 11th hour, 59th minute, and 59th second that the universe ended up uh, giving me uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. It was the 11th hour and 59th minute and 59th second where I got my gas-sucking truck for instance, so uh, I do have a lifetime pattern of the of <laughs> manifesting stuff in my life uh, in the 11th hour and 59th minute and 59th second, which will technically, I guess, be 11.59 p.m. and 59 seconds tomorrow, October 19th. Uh, 2021, which is, of course, uh, Dulcinea's 50th birthday. Dulcinea will be celebrating 50 years of life on this planet. So as part of uh, the fight, and, and this really is, guys, I, I know you've heard this before, Wednesday, I, I mean, assuming some miracle doesn't happen, of course, Wednesday will be the final Dulcinea Chronicle to end the, uh, to slam the nail into the Dulcinea coffin, but uh, as part of my toolkit uh, over here on this site, I've mentioned it before, secret language of birthdays, the secret language of birthdays, uh, which I've, of course, you know, Looking at myself, the, the secret language of birthdays completely nailed me to the cross. Uh, not so sure if they nailed Dulcinea to the cross as well as they did me, because of course with Dulcinea, even though the, the biological entity of Dulcinea was born on October 19, 1971. Of course, anyone trying to do a, a uh, personality profile on someone with at least 10 different personalities is probably only going to be about 10% correct. So anyway, I got to I, I got to give the uh, astrologer Gary here a, a, a little bit of uh, slack. So, but anyway, uh, I'm over here on October 19th, and just to make myself feel a little bit better about losing uh, Dulcinea, spending some time in the secret language of birthdays. So October 19th, 
is called the Day of the Projector. The Day of the Projector. The good personality traits, insistent, I guess insistent is a good personality trait, independent and lively, while the downside of the October 19th personality, argumentative, disturbing, and possessive. Although, uh, possessive, eh. <laughs> No comment, but anyway, I just uh, have been enjoying uh, going through all of these various readings on uh, from all different angles. And this is just kind of a uh, synopsis, so it's kind of mashed together somewhat out of sequence, but uh, this is the distillation of, you know, a an astrological forecast, whatever, uh, boil down into the nuts and bolts that uh, I've been paying attention to. So Dulcinea, this one's for you, girl. Uh, I love it. They start out with the meditation for those born on October 19th. So this is the meditation for Dulcinea here on the eve of her 50th birthday. <clears throat> <laughs> Gotta love this one. To a person chained in a cave, the shadows on the wall are reality. There you go. I could not, <laughs> I could not think of a better meditation for you to chew on tonight, uh, Dulcinea, on your last night of your 40s, facing the half-century mark tomorrow to a person chained in a cave, the shadows on the wall are reality. Uh, Dulcinea speaks a lot about uh, shadows on the wall and other various realities that only her brain or brains can see. Uh, maybe that is the basis of your reality or shadows on the wall. Okay. So here is just kind of a mashup for uh, Dulcinea with some side warnings for Hambone or anybody else that might be listening to this also in love with Dulcinea. I know of at least one person listening to this who is also in love with Dulcinea and I think two of them listening to this. All right. Take it away, secret language of birthdays. <clears throat> Those born on October 19th are independent, spirited, and outspoken people. Highly opinionated and stubborn in their approach to life, they may unfortunately bring strife and conflict wherever they go. Yes. The driving force behind their provocative nature is their desire to bring things to light, or better yet, to shine the light of truth on the object of their interest. They can grow very defensive, even paranoid, in their compulsion to hide from public scrutiny. While cloistered, they may stagnate or get involved in a lifestyle or family situation where they, in fact, never re-emerge at all. Uh, talking about how, you know, October 19th people, uh, tend to hide from life in uh, family situations where they get trapped. Uh, a recurring theme about being uh, trapped in a cave. They may resent attempts to tie them down 
indeed, they can become rebellious if pushed to commit themselves. <laughs> Thank you, Secret Life of uh, Birthday. I, I never would have uh, figured this out on my own that uh, October 19th, people, what is this? Uh, can uh, become rebellious if pushed to commit themselves. Uh, I'm not sure rebellious is the term I would use to, uh, to characterize Dulcinea's uh, absolute refusal to commit herself. And I don't mean in, in any way there's, uh, I, I, anyway, that was, that really was a Freudian slip. Come and think about it. Okay. October 19th people must make an effort to break down their defense reactions. Yes. Uh, since October 19th people are already so caught up in the controlling aspects of relationships, they must beware of promoting false values, easy promises, and superficialities of all types. Yes, uh, has Dulcinea ever promoted an easy promise or superficiality to ham my little tail. I'll have to sleep on that one tonight. They can get into a real mess with themselves when their intellectual and emotional natures clash. Periods of indecision, periods of indecision may be broken by outbursts of aggression. Anybody uh, watching uh, either one of Dulcinea's uh, YouTube channels? <laughs> uh, no comment. They have an undeniably wild, unpredictable side. Dramatic and impulsive, they will unhesitatingly fly in the face of society's moral codes to assert their values or express themselves. And this, of course, is one of the main reasons I fell in love with Dulcinea. Uh, you know, uh, was her unpredictably wild, uh, her undeniably wild and unpredictable side. Yes, you go, girl flying unhesitatingly in the face of society's moral codes. <clears throat> Their private lives may include many love affairs, ch charting a path strewn with the broken hearts of those who have had relationships with them, not to mention the uh, broken hearts of men who have not had relationships with them. Okay, those damn heartbreakers. A life strewn with broken hearts. Yes, I'm sure she is going to lose sleep over her, her uh, path of broken hearts behind her. Uh, their particular brand of charisma, impulsiveness, and mental power makes them formidable and sometimes even dangerous 
individuals to be involved with. Yes, what do you think, little dog? Uh, do you think Dulcinea's uh, particular brand of charisma, impulsiveness, and mental power makes her a formidable and even dangerous woman to be involved with? What do you think? Those romantically involved with them must beware of addictive tendencies in such relationships. Yes. It may be difficult for them to maintain steady relationships. Of course, you have to, in order to maintain a steady relationship, you have to establish a steady relationship. You know, it's kind of like the Georgia Guidestones talking about how we have to maintain a global population of no more than 500 million people, although it never uh, talks about how we get to 500 million people. It's, you can't maintain something that, that has no beginning. Uh, it may be difficult for them to maintain steady relationships since it is not human contact they are interested in as much as a given field of study, whether scientific, technological, artistic, or economic. Yes. The choice of an intimate partner can be problematic for October 19th people. They do bore easily and often demand someone who is as unusual as they are. Mm. Can't imagine. Who could that be? Somebody as big of a weirdo as they are. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm sure that Dulcinea, if anybody out there has a choice of men uh, as weird as they are, uh, it, it would be Dulcinea. I'm just taking a wild guess here, uh, at least knowing myself and the other one or two men who are also hopelessly in love with this woman. Uh, I would not call any of them normies. And uh, I have a wild guess that she has a new boyfriend who is even less uh, uh, of a normie than I am. It's just a hunch. Uh, the par their partners will have to show great tolerance since they, meaning October 19th people, have a tremendous need to become involved with other people, frequently the wrong ones. Yep. And of course, uh, the advice, the parting advice for those born on October 19th Balance your desire to be independent with your need for companionship. Do not assume that people will always forgive you. And with that parting advice, the clock ticks. So tomorrow is D-Day. Tomorrow is Dulcinea Day. Uh, either Dulcinea uh, decides she is going to be my Doomer chick forever, or she will be uh, just put in that little uh, that little UFO of green energy and say bye-bye, wish me luck.
universe. <laughs> the universe uh, goes on about its business. My guys, you can look forward to the final Dulcinea Chronicle. It should be a good one on Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. That we will see what tomorrow brings. All right, little dog.